as I speak to you now, there are some Nigerian youths. They've made up their mind inside their hearts. You know you can't lie to yourself. We know ourselves. There are some youths, they've made up their mind that no matter what happened, they're not coming out for the protest. They are not joining. Now, this is me trying to give you a mic. Tell us what do you want. Yes, at this junction, you guys really have to tell us what you want. How do you think the country can be better? Because hold your leaders accountable never. You are not interested. As I'm talking to you now, there are so many of us that claim to be youth. We don't even know the state governor of our state and his commissioners. We don't know them. We don't know their portfolio. We don't know anything about them. And we are not ready to know. But anywhere you see videos or anywhere you see somebody, uh, uh, Femi Falana, uh, uh, Faz or anybody, criticizing Tinubu, criticizing the, the, the central power, you are ready to attack Tinubu. You go under the comments and you start insulting Tinubu. Uh, Tinubu stole our mandate. Uh, pretend came and enslaved our, 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 our ancestors. Oh, uh, IMF. Oh, World Bank. But you have new slave masters in your states. The governors and his commissioner, the local government chairman, the, uh, what, what, what are they called, the states, uh, House of Assembly. You don't know them. You are not interested to know them. As I'm talking to you now, so many out of, I can say 99% of Nigerian, you don't even know the days that their own state House of Assembly meets. Not to talk of the deliberation that they usually have on the floor of their state House of Assembly. They don't know nothing. They don't know the money that they disburse to these uh, lawmakers. They don't know anything. Now, protest is here now. Let's take back our country for where you are not ready to join. The only just to complain. Complain. Complain bitterly. But stand up. Do the right thing. Even if you say you don't want to protest. Okay, let's see that. You are actually holding your own state leaders accountable. The people representing your zone. The people representing your area. Your councillor. Your, I mean, your ward. Your local government chairman. Your local government uh, area. You are not interested to do anything. But all you do is to complain. Nigerians conclude that, okay, we are coming together to come and ask and take back our country. And a set of people now pulled out. You are weakening the power. Now Igbo people, they talk, say they don't want to protest. They don't want to protest. They don't want to protest. Okay, take the mic. Tell us why. You want to say that, okay, they will blame the Igbos. Uh, Igbo will take the blame. Hold on. Is it the ordinary Nigerian that reads the 2023 election? Is it the ordinary Nigerian that is blaming the Igbos? Is it not APC and their shenanigans trying to use divide and rule method to, to, to blame the Igbos, to, to, just to cause chaos? Can't you guys look beyond the surface, sitting back relaxed because they are blaming the Igbos? Will that make the country better? Will that make you gain your Biafra? Will it bring any positive thing to the floor, to the table? You guys need to understand that the tides have changed. This is the time everybody has to come together. It's not the time that you start preaching about the, 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 the wrong that you they, they've done to you or the, the, our differences. Or you, it's not, we don't have time for that right now. Because you can see clearly, you can see the handwriting of these politicians. They are not ready to do anything. They are not ready. They will do nothing. No matter the promise they've told you, no matter what they've said, they will do nothing. They won't. When I tell you, if not result, I tell you, I'm going to go chichichi, I'm going to go chon chon chon. At least you know they pray, I'm not going to fool you.